Hello YouTube, Nathan Dewey here doing an update on the Fiend line. To my left is Fiend number 28, to my right is Arch Fiend number 11. I'll be going over some changes I've made and the uh, new standard, so to speak. First on the handles, I have been thinning them a lot, out a lot more. Uh, I have been doing it so that it's more squared off around the pivot area to make it easier for chaplains and twirling. And on the ends, I allow it to uh, flare out, be a little bit thicker and rounded, making it easier and more comfortable for fanning. As thinnest, it's half an inch. As thickest, it's uh, five-eighths of an inch. You'll also notice that the uh, handle ends uh, slightly tapered down. This is also meant for comfort, as it allows more space between the handles and prevents pinching. The, hand, the uh, spacers are more or less the same. Uh, in order for them to fit these uh, new tapering, they're um, a little less wide, but I was able to make them a little bit more tall. So, more or less the same balance, still flips very well. The pivots, uh, as of recently, I have been using .005. Uh, thick uh, bronze washers. These are 0 .010, which means they're a little bit thicker. Uh, what this does is that it uh, clears more space for the uh, blade. Uh, it doesn't get uh, caught up as easily, and it uh, reduces the need for additional uh, detail work after after the fact. This is the Bowie. Here's the uh, Tanto. You notice on the Archfiend that the latch is also G10. I have done away with the uh, stainless steel pin latch. Uh, this not only does it uh, reduces the weight on the uh, uh, latch end, uh, keeps it even, the balance, it uh, also reduces the wear and makes the finished product a lot more professional, in my opinion. You'll notice that the grinds are chisel grind. This is a 20 degree hollow ground, zero, you know, zero ground uh, chisel edge, which means it's uh, sharpened on one side. The advantage is uh, not only is it cleaner, it's easier to do, it reduces blade loss, and it actually makes them even sharper. Because uh, with a conventional edge, you have 20 degrees and 20 degrees, which makes 40. Uh, you go a little bit sharper, there's a 15 and 15, and that makes 30. With these, you have 20 and 0, which makes 20, so it's even sharper. Uh, I've just finished flipping this one, and I got a little bit of a bite, and the edge barely even touched me. So it doesn't take much to draw blood with this, and I think that the average person will be very happy with their uh, fine cutting bellies. You'll also notice that I did not do a swedge on this one. Uh, typically, whenever I would get a volley song back for a uh, repair or fine tuning or whatever, uh, the tip would always be kind of blunted off, so I decided uh, the stock is thin enough as it is that this is already needle sharp, so you don't really need the swedge on this blade, so uh, keep some of the steel near the tip, make it a little bit stronger, and prevent uh, blunting. This is 4.9 ounces, this is 5.2. Uh, my experience uh, for some reason, the jade material tends to be a little bit lighter, but the darker material tends to be a little bit heavier. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, if you want something a little bit lighter, go with the lighter color. Uh, darker will be a little bit uh, heavier. Not sure how they figured that out, but yeah, trial and error, they'll both flip just fine. Alright, uh, that's my update on the Fiend line. Thanks for looking. Take care.